like a damn sitcom intro. Good morning, everybody. Welcome. And big O news for you all today. It's Friday. So happy Friday to you all. Congratulations. You made it through another week. And also, if you're not aware, the Steam Summer Sale has begun as of yesterday. So I hope you all uh, grab something good. I added uh, Alien Isolation to my list. I, I didn't own the game. I, I thought I did, but it's one I've been wanting to play. And uh, I think we should make it a member incentive sometime. So like, I'll buy it when it's really cheap, and then if we had a certain number of members, I'll make some time to do it. But anyway, good to see you all here. Chat today, I'm finally going to go out, and uh, we're going to ship that, finally, our good friend Part. If you guys remember, he won that big old Ghostbusters cooler, and uh, I, think, I think he was moving, and uh, now he's at a music festival, so we've like linked up a time to ship that uh, Ghostbusters cooler for when he comes back from the festival, so he can be home to claim it. So congrats to him. We got all the uh, address info going, and uh, that should be shipped out. So I'm, I'm excited to send it over to him. Anyway, Dave's got a little bit of an update that just dropped, so I'm just updating. Okay, and it's done. Cool. <laughs> so anyway, good morning, folks. I hope you're all enjoying your week and have an even better weekend. Happy Friday, chat. Yeah, it's like a sitcom. Like uh, we, we need to do an 80s sitcom intro for me and all my friends. It'd be perfect. Actually, last night I was bothering lumberjack about like he wanted to do a podcast with me for a while and i was like i don't know if i want to do a podcast because i honestly i don't have a lot of time to put in effort other than showing up and doing it and i don't feel right about like just being a part of a show and then having nothing to do with the production on the back end but lumberjack said he'd be fine with that and i i'd hate to like hold them up from doing something they've wanted to do so um but i'd be like a, a spiritual guest on the show I don't know what we would do or what we would call it, but it'd be kind of fun to react to gaming news and stuff. It, it would just basically be me complaining, which is like every stream. So anyway, we'll go back. Let's get back to Dave. Hey, we, um, so last night or yesterday, we finished up the, uh, the stream by 
going back to the back to Bancho Sushi. So it looks like it's saved right as we got back to the uh, restaurant. And it looks like tomorrow in the game we have to make uh, the vegetable sushi. So let's get on back to it then. And go to the restaurant. <sighs> yeah. We fought a big old boss yesterday too, which was the, uh, I forgot, some sort of shrimp. But, uh, yeah, good times. Bro, I just want to thank you for the live streams and your work on YouTube. I want to thank Chad for always being here. It's nice to have everybody uh, turning on the notification bell and never missing a stream. More people here makes it a lot more fun. But honestly, even if just one person were here, it would still be fun. Uh, did I upgrade everybody? Oh, I think I did. Yeah, that's why we have no money. I, like, bought a bunch of stuff and did some big upgrades. But we didn't make our menu yet. Uh, what else haven't I done? Check the pwn. Oh, eco. Um, oh, we got nothing to turn in. Oh, we already did that. Okay, we turned in all those. All right, let's go to the menu. So we don't have a lot of time today at the restaurant because we were we were swimming to do that boss battle last night. So hey, what's up, Bender? Welcome back, dude. Yeah, good to see you guys from all over the world. Yeah, Raptorius International. So um, yeah, good times. Okay. Yeah, vegetable sushi, yeah. We're gonna be making that tomorrow. I don't know what I wanna I don't know what I wanna put out on the menu though. I don't want a lot of food out tonight. I think we'll do maybe ooh, we'll do like twenty. I think twenty would be fifteen seems a little light, somewhere between fifteen and twenty would be good. Ooh, Mega Mouth Sushi. I'm gonna I'm gonna save some of this uh, boss battle stuff for later. Oh, it was called the mantis shrimp. That's what it was. Yeah. Hmm. We could enhance this. Oh hell yeah! Do it. Let's go. Cutscene. Cutscene, brother. <laughs> the cutscenes are so damn good. If I made a game chat, it would it would it would look similar to Dave the Diver in like many ways. Like this this art pixel art style and stuff is so good. Those cutscenes are just out of this world. Seriously. Oh, this only makes one. Oh. Dude, I want more Duff cutscenes. Duff is my favorite character in the whole game. The guy, the, our weapon specialist. I love that guy. All right, I think I'm gonna put one of these on the menu. Or no, I can put a few. All right, let's do let's do five on the menu. We're gonna do like we're gonna do like uh, twenty, close to twenty things. All right, let's see. We could enhance this too. Let's try to get that to like close to five as well. Oh, it's gonna take ten. All right, that means we can just bring it down to four. That's fine. Cool. And then... Hmm... Ooh. The Mega Man Shark. Mega Man. We should do things that make people really happy, though. Because we're also trying to go for that, uh, that star score. We only have one soy sauce. Ooh, comb jelly. Ooh. Oh, that's going to take 22. Damn. All right, I'll enhance it. And I'll put one on the menu. And then let's do a... So that brings us to 10. I really want that rating up. Let's go by rating. Uh, let's see, what is it? Level, dish, taste. That's what it is. Oh, it does it by descending? Okay. <clears throat> or is it ascending? 
Wait, it's all over. Oh no, it's from the top. Ooh, the long nose saw shark is 174, but very cheap. Hmm. Let's see. Nah, I don't want nine. I'm gonna do just like another five. Cool. I think that's enough. I wanna start using the auto stock, but I wanna use that like when we have full days to do things. I don't know if it takes into account day and night. All right, let's have ourselves a cook off. What's up, Tan, welcome aboard. I got to uh, prepare some more shorts for today too. Hmm. I think we're ready. Let's go. So I got to get all the, the one all the way at the end. Get that man a beer. Yeah, it's like plate up, exactly. Do I have the hot pepper tuna clip? I don't think so. Hey, there we go. Gold rank. A lot less money, but today we were going more for flavor. We're going more for flavor today. That was good, because we're only 11 over, so that's good. Favorite game of the year? Yeah, probably this and probably Dredge. Those two games have been amazing. Dave is now finally out, so... But it was my favorite game probably last year too when I played the demo. I was like, this is gonna be a banger. And I was right. Oh boy. Here we go. Spicy tuna's coming in today. Pepper tuna. Pepper tuna's coming in today. We'll hear the song again, I'm sure. What's up, Dr. Bacon? Dave, is everything going well? Yeah, it's, pre it's going pretty well. Uh, I opened the passage to the glacial area, but I can't explore the area because it's too cold. Oh, your current suit is not warm enough, I see. So the sea people gave me this cloth, but I don't know how to use it. The cloth is warm to the touch. This is the breathing apparatus I found in the sea people's cave. I could make a cold resistant suit if I have a mechanical part that can patch up the items. A mechanical part. Don't you have one from John Watson's suit? Oh, you're actually right. I brought some complex uh, mechanical parts. And this is a device that automatically adjusts water pressure. I might be able to do something with this, but it's too damaged to be used without repair, only if you could find one intact somewhere. Oh, I have a good idea. What is it? I'll tell you later in the evening. I need to organize my thoughts, lol. I have a bad feeling about this. In the evening, another nighttime dive. Now oh, here comes the Pokemon kid again. Pokemon rolling up. Hey. Uh, Gaia Geo. Oh, a new greeting sound? No, it's from the the game I'm, I've been playing these days. Oh, that's right, there's a new mobile phone game. What game are you playing? It's Gaio. A game rising... Oh, no way, raising digital fish? It's a freaking Tamagotchi! It's a Tamagotchi for fish. You feed them and keep them happy and they grow and mutate. That sounds somewhat familiar. Yes, it does. What's better is, it's linked with Mar Marinica. When you get a grown-up fish, you can unlock a Mar 
Marinica. Oh, that sounds awesome. Why don't you try yourself? I shared the app with you using the share with friend. With enough patience, luck, and passion, you'll be able to collect all Marincas. Choo choo. Wow, it's freaking Tamagotchi. Hold on. Uh, digital fish that keeps you company in your mobile phone. Feed it and make it happy and see. <laughs> it can mutate into a variety of new creatures. Take care of your digital fish. If it falls ill, give him a shot. Also remember to turn off the light at night so he can have a good night's sleep. If a warning icon shows up, check the hunger and affection levels. If there's no issue but he's still calling you, some discipline might be necessary. If you go to the options, turn on notifications, you'll get updates about the status, even when turning on your smartphone. Or without turning on your smartphone. Make sure to check on him. No way. Huh? Some kind of mail is here. Should I check it? The Yacht Party. Hello, residents. Blue Hole Tourism uh, Board here. The Blue Hole is getting more and more well-known, and the interest is growing. In three days, a yacht party will be held. A lot of wealthy people will come. If there's a restaurant that can handle preparing high-class tuna dishes, this could significantly increase sales. We ask for your support until it becomes the best attraction in the world. Blue Hole Tourism Community. Oh, uh, we're going to do hot pepper tuna. Let's go. Dave, you read the email you just got? Yeah, it says there'll be a tuna party soon. Right. And tuna is sushi's best friend. We can sell them for a good profit. Uh, I haven't seen the uh, tuna in the blue hole for a while. It's beginning of tuna season now. We'll be able to make a fortune using this party. Hmm, but if it, isn't it difficult to catch tuna? I hear there's some. They're very fast swimmers. Well, that's why an investment is needed. In the afternoon, I will bring a tool that can catch us tuna. I'll see you then. Oh ho ho! All right. So we're getting a lot of new stuff in the game. Uh, let's check the phone and go to mini games. Oh boy. No way. I think I have to wait till he hatches. I have no idea. Yeah, nice pet indeed. Uh, should we go farming first? Oh no, growing. Nothing's harvestable. Oh, but the rice has weeds. I'll go deal with that right now. Then we'll go fishing. Maybe we should grow a digital tuna. We'll call it an NFT. Non-fungible tuna. Oh boy, that's a lot of weeds, man. Can I open up a new uh, field? No. I think he'll tell us when we can open up a new field. <laughs> All right, back to the the grind. Okay, so tuna we don't know anything about yet, so we can do that later. So we got an event in three days for tuna, and their VIP arrives today. Last night we went more for uh, food ranking. Oh, oh, we got to get best taste now. Oh, we got to serve a dish of 250. Okay. So, what we got to do now is rank up our dishes at the sushi restaurant until we get to 250. Okay. So that's going to just take a little bit of grind, I think. We're just going to have to keep getting more fish. Um. Wait, so what's the main goal? Cookie cutter shark and vegetable sushi. Well, cookie cutter sharks are down pretty low. That one's done, except for we just got to do it tonight. 
All right, let's go back to the village. Glacial area. Actually, yeah, there could be some good fish down there. Let me change my weapon. Oh, yeah, we got it. Wait, what do you got? Oxygen tank expansion, one time use. Increase maximum oxygen by 10%. Wow, for 20? I'll take that. Josh P, welcome aboard as a little raptor. Thank you so much for hitting the join button, man. Welcome aboard. Green eyes in the chat, everybody. Show them some love, members. Let's go. Hello, Thanks for all member. the support. Welcome. All right, let's go down to the old glacial area. We'll go look for some new fish down there. We didn't really get too many of them yet. Hopefully the um, fish down in the... Um, in that area are like really tasty by default. All right, what do we got? Oh, an ice fish. All right, that's new. Cool. Hey, good morning, Jay. Welcome aboard. Troy, good to see you. Welcome. And of course, Bear in the chat. Of course. Hi, Bear. Oh, my bad. That's like a little seahorse. A sea dragon. Oh. That thing's huge. Oh, an arctic cod. It's too cold, I can't go further without proper gear. Alright, so we can get even more fish from down there. Oh god, that guy's hand. Let me get a knife and saw that off. Turned into sushi. Hmm. You know, the blacksmith still isn't open yet either. I wonder if he'll open after we can go down into that super cold area. Let's go check on our farm. Our seaweed farm. Still need to find that cookie cutter shark. Could do some gambling this morning. But I don't really know what we else, like, other than money for buying seeds for seaweed, I don't think we need anything else. Friday needs a hell yeah, hell yeah brother, let's go. Let's get you a hell yeah. Give me a hell yeah! Wow, those are ready to go. Oh, those are sea grapes! Oh! Okay, that's awesome. We needed those. I didn't know that was... I didn't know Latak grew us... Um, sea grapes. That's fantastic. I'm gonna go grab more of those. I'm gonna go grab way more of those. Um, here's the blacksmith. <laughs> cough, cough. Are you okay? The water temperature keeps changing so rapidly. I'm not feeling well. Not just me. Many of us got sick. We must find what caused this and resolve the issue. All right. He's not doing deals with us yet. Coral and seaweeds can be found even in the coldest glacial areas. Ooh, bring me their seeds and I'll cultivate them with care so we can find even more. Very nice. Well, you could use some breadsticks this morning. Unlimited soup and breadsticks. You mean... From where you're here, your family? When you're here, your family. It's so threatening. Every time I hear that, it's like... When you're here, your family. Your family. 
I think that was like intended. I'm gonna buy four more of these. And I'll save the rest of our money for what we find. That's new. That's awesome. You couldn't be a streamer. Playing a game and responding to chat sounds difficult. Well, I mean, you know, like, a moment like right now, I realize, like, all I'm doing is just holding right, so it's a good time to look at the chat and, like, respond to questions and stuff. It's a balance of, like, you know, moments where there's a cutscene, I can look over at the chat and just be like, okay, I'm going to respond to that one and that one. But the streams are so damn good because chat's always active with, like, asking questions and just throwing funny stuff into the chat. You guys make it better by, like, showing up and, like, it's a live stream and the live chat is, like, that's what makes it fun. Very fun. Almost too fun. Nice. So I guess there's three stages. Seed, sprout, and adult. Alright, I would do some gambling, but, you know, I don't want to win too much. You got the AI and new cycle to say that you could open an Olive Garden franchise in another town. I posted the screenshot in the meme section of the Discord. No way. God, I, dude, when I got to that part of the demo, I was just like, I didn't even know what game I was playing anymore. The devs wrote me an email after they saw me do that, and they were like, dude, don't play our game again. No. They were like, dude, that was hilarious. That was awesome. I think that was a, that was great. If you if you don't know what we're talking about, we played a game called New Cycle a few days ago, and in that game, there's like a trader that will come to your town, and you know how it is like in when you're playing like Civilization or any game where there's like a trader, you know, you you click on some options like a peace treaty or like you know alliance or trade deal or whatever, and they just have generic stuff they say like, yeah, I think that could be arranged or you know, hmm or whatever. But this one, like, this guy would actually chat with you. Like, you could... It was like chat GPT, but with, like, AI voice acting. And so, you know, he would come to the town. He'd be like, hey, man, on my way here, I, like, you know, this cart full of valuable tools rolled over. And, uh, like, I'm going to this other town to, like, sell a bunch of tools. Can you, like, give me tools as a favor? It's basically the gist of it. But, like, you got to chat with the guy. So he went on this whole story about how he was an international trader... And then he was like, oh, this bridge was broken, though. And I was like, dude, why didn't you use the tools to fix the bridge? And he was like, oh, dude. <laughs> it was just a crazy... It was like a... I must have been chatting with that dude for at least a half hour. And I got him to, like, say all sorts of funny memes. Like, I'd be like, damn, dude, you look great in those uh, overalls. He's like, damn right I do. <laughs> it gives me the comfort and mobility I need to be the world's best trader. To which, by the way, you should give me a bunch of stuff so I can go to the other town. It's funny, like, he had his agenda, like, the, the AI kept pushing him back to the main line of the conversation. But I kept trying to distract him as best I could, and damn it, it did, it, it did such a good job of, like, being, like, trying to do the things that it was programmed to do, but, like, being hilarious. I loved it. So it was very nice of a new cycle to make a city builder around their ch chat game. It was hilarious. Genius. I mean, I really hope that in the future, if you have to talk with NPCs, that you can actually type it in. Or, maybe there's a couple of prefab, like, options, but that it'll give you, like, a randomly generated, like, outcome each time. Because, like, you know, if you're going to be... If you're going to have multiple choice questions in interaction with AI, at least make it funny. Or make it linear. And add some options to it. I don't know, it was just, it was great. Okay, I'm gonna try to cap all these boys. I'm gonna try to get the rest of these fish, and then we're gonna go to, uh, see if we can get the, um, cookie cutter shark. 
Oh, and by the way, when I got distracted after talking to the AI for like a half hour, I didn't realize that the game was still like running in the background and like my town burned down in the background. Like I, I was so distracted by the conversation I was having with the AI that I burned down the town. Uh, almost. Okay, I think that was all the fish. Skyrim, Skyrim has a mod that does that. That should be the future. Yeah, I could... A game like Skyrim, a game like Civilization, that would just be so interesting. Like, if you're... Again, if you're playing like Civ or something, it, or Anno, and you want to talk smack to the enemy, it'd just be hilarious if you could actually, like, tell Warmonger Maggie that she sucks, but what doesn't suck is the great savings and flavor of uh, stuffed chicken marsala from Olive Garden. She'd be like, I will... I will destroy you, and I will also destroy that dank-ass chicken marsala available now at Olive Garden. You know, like, that'd be hilarious, dude. I would, I would lose games just distracted by the AI. It'd be hilarious. Nice, got him. I don't know. That, it, that, that, I, I, had, I had never seen that before, and the fact that they just tried to do that in a game like that, I want that in, like, the next Frostpunk. Although, it kind of takes away from the quality a little bit, because you get that whole AI voice. But, like, the fact that they had the balls to do that was pretty sweet. And I think that's going to work great in the game. So I'm very, I'm very excited for New Cycle. Because of what that game will try to do for, like, its, um... Or its, like, quest. No, campaign. I don't know, chat. Some pretty good games that we've been playing on the channel. I don't know. Some pretty good games out there, including Dave the Diver. AI is the future in games, then? Well, it's certainly an interesting thing that it can instantaneously respond to you. I don't know. I thought it was great. I hope they... I was just blown away. I hope they uh, continue to work on that and make it even better. You'd think it would be an unnecessary thing that would take away from the gameplay, but I don't know. I, I was just blown away. Yeah, I would love a Mad Max style of... Po yeah, post-apocalyptic Mad Max type game. Where you're building a city and then can chat with bullet farmer and stuff. Uh, I need to get a weapon before I go over there. Oh, Jesus. Oh, whoa. I thought <laughs> he was going to attack me. <laughs> We're going to need a bigger bomb. Where are you going, buddy? Upgrade the harpoon too. Kitty, it's a big kitty, yeah. All right, oh man, if I can get a little extendo range, would be nice. No, thank you. Wow. Bad idea. Never mind, got him. That was close. Yeah, first try. Oh, hey. 
I've got a jawbone. Nice. Can it inhale the bomb? I don't think so. I tried. But whenever he inhaled, he would swim forward afterwards, so I got him. A confirmed kill. Well, what the hell is that? A grenade launcher? Well, oh, I do need that, though, don't I? That'll give me another part for, uh... Yeah, that's an MSGL type grenade launcher. Technical joke. Okay, didn't get a chance to read it. But hey, now that we grab that, I think we get more percentage in unlocking that, um, the blueprint for that from Duff. What did I kill? It was a Mega Mouse shark. It was a Mega Man shark. Oh yeah, we got to go kill a cookie cutter shark now, which I think is down there. Or actually, maybe it's up over. Ooh, what is that? What is this? Diamond! Damn! Nice! This dude was playing World War II in Death Stranding. Oh, that's true. There is a World War II section in Death Stranding. That was pretty cool, actually. Like World War One, World War Two, then you go to Vietnam. Very cool game. Can't wait for Death Stranding too. Damn, I need some. Uh, I, I I need another skull, I think, from that. A rubber chicken. All right then. Cookie cutter shark should be down here. Oh, there's more of that ore. Well, you know what? I want to get the jellyfish here. Let's see if we can get them all together. Whoa! Oh wow, we're over, already over cucumbered. Whoa. Yeah, very shocking behavior. Well, I think it's time for us to get out of here with Dave. anything else do I have a feather spell no but just like a feather I take myself lightly <laughs> death stranding to the jog begins yeah there should be a Eh, we'll go back to the village, it's fine. Over cucumbered, yep, by a lot. Well, that's cool, like, going back with a full load of good stuff. Like, we got diamond, we got some rare fish, we're good. We gotta get that flavel. <laughs> Going, sorry. First time you catch the live stream in so long? What's up, Noro? Good to see you back. All right, back to the lodge, and we're going back to the boat. Am I going to watch Dune 2 or the Avatar movies? Um, I'll for sure watch Dune 2. I don't think I've seen Avatar since I saw it in theaters. 
I kind of want to watch it again, but I feel like if I do it again, I'm gonna, it's not, it's gonna lose what I thought was cool about it in my mind. I don't know. All right, we're going back to the back to the boat. Maybe um maybe Cobra will have some cool stuff for us. There's gonna be three more Avatar movies. Yeah, I know they. I, didn't Avatar come out like 07, 08? Haven't they been working on like... Did Avatar 2 ever come out? I don't even know. Oh, what? Oh, we only got a third of the grenade launcher. Wait, I thought we were like 60-something percent. Hold on. Damn, that diamond must weigh a lot. We We didn't really bring back that much stuff. Cat food is a cooking ingredient. Well, let's hunt tuna then for real, shall we? Take this, a steel net sensor trap. Even with the swiftest and biggest tuna, they cannot escape the trap. And I got a secret weapon for today's hunt. An underwater drone? Oh boy, let's put a billionaire in there. Uh, it took me quite some time to replace the one you broke. Last time, it's very expensive stuff to buy, you know? But that wasn't my fault. It broke the moment I activated it. I made a big investment for moments like this. This is what a businessman does. Let me show you how to use that. Just follow my instructions. Dive in the water. Uh, can I do something else first? Oh, I have to do that? Damn it. Oh, this is just training. I don't think this will count. Bye. Melting Glacier, Chapter 6. I don't want this game to end. I'll be honest. I don't, I don't want this game ending. Hopefully there's like a... Hopefully this game has like a post... I'm sure it'll have like a post-game mode where you can just like... Endlessly just go fishing and just make sushi. And just make money. Alright, so our goal is to go get tuna, which we haven't seen before apparently. <laughs> Oh, whoa. Cool. Oh, I see tuna. The fish is big, but fast. I'd love to catch them. Should I use a tool? Set a trap of the tuna's potential route. Okay. Oh, ow, hey. Jeez. <laughs> Oh, and then we gotta get this sub to bring it up. Oh. That's badass. That thing could bring massive things back to the surface. Oh, uh, if, if it don't... I hope there's a mode where we can get some of our inventory to, like, go back up to the boat and then we can keep going. That'd be cool. Oh, it could get this big tuna without a problem. I'm impressed. That was really cool. Uh, it's very powerful, so if you ever catch a big fish, use the drone. Uh, you'll need one of these drones to keep the grade of your f uh, catch fish with wounds. Can't have a high grade. Yeah, you, in other words, you got to use the net. Otherwise, you don't get a, gr a lot of money for killing them. Uh, I'll lend you the drone for now. For who, wh What are you using it for, Cobra? We're the only one literally diving in the water. What would you lend? It's the basic model without any options because it's expensive. Bring oh, we have another eye diver upgrade thing. <laughs> Let's collect as many ingredients as we can before the tuna party. Oh man, we have another thing to upgrade now. I need even more money. Large fish caught with the net can be re retrieved using the salvage drone. You only have a limited number, but it can be upgraded in the eye diver. Ah, okay. I go for some tuna right now. What's your favorite sushi? Um, I had an eel sushi once, which I was pr I was really happy with, but. I went to Japan two times without having any Japanese sushi. So, next time I go to Japan, I'll have to ask my Japanese friends, like, what do you like? What's a good sushi to have? And it's interesting. When you ask them what they like, it's pretty good. And then you'll get something that you think you'll like, and it's even, like, more amazing. It's like, it's so good. 
I love getting suggestions from people in countries that you visit. It's the best. All right, let's see where these guys are going. Right there. Okay. Oh wait, we only had one bomb. I don't have any more uh, steel traps. Maybe we can find some. Someone just tuned, tune it, tune it in. Nice. Oh, what, what the hell is that? Uh-oh. Sir? Uh-oh. Back it up, sir. All right, then. No, I can't catch him. We might be able to kill him, though, with the, uh, maybe the harpoon. So now the game's introducing a ton of new fish on the surface. This is great. Oh, we need more pink seashells, too. Yeah, eel is very good, yeah. I mean, I liked it. Oh, you're right. I should check all the weapon boxes so we can get the grenade launcher to spawn, yeah. Because we need that for the blueprint. I've forgotten that mechanic of the game where it's like a random weapon could spawn, but if you don't want it and pick it up, you still could get the... Uh, these guys look new. Are all these fish new? I don't, re I don't remember any of these fish. Who are you guys? Okay, those are not new to me. Have I had crappies before? The fish? Uh, I think so. Oh boy. Hi. Big O shark. At least we have a couple days to go get some big O tuna. Big tuna. Hi, sir. Well, that's a uh... oh brown seashell darn. Sir, you're being very rude right now. I am just here to collect clams. Sir. Tail. 
Whoa. Oh, wow. Oh, I did not expect that. Holy hell. Wow. Wow. That was a big attack. Well, at least we got our tuna. Big tuna. Wow. You just got this game? Oh, awesome, Seth. Enjoy. Yeah, he's got that whip attack, but he certainly didn't use it till the end. Woo. Hey, there's our tuna. Three star. I wonder if they come out at night. Wait, we caught three? I thought we only caught one tuna. Maybe there was three of them at... Okay, well, alright. I thought it was just one. Oh, right, we can grow them in the fish tank. Awesome. So what is the idea you mentioned earlier? Oh, that. Uh, what if you infiltrate the sea blue bay? Oh. Wait, we already have a mechanical part. Oh, we're going to go to the sea blue base? Me? Go to their base? Sea blue folks uh, were scouting the area using underwater drones at night. Follow those drones and you'll find their base. That's another nighttime mission. It sounds very dangerous. Don't worry, I'll prepare an infiltration suit with camouflage patterns. It'll hide you from plain sight at night. No guarantees, though. Uh, anyways, it's not dark enough yet, so I'll see you later when I close the bar. Oh, we're going to go late, late night? <laughs> uh, James doesn't seem like a good candidate, I'm going to be honest. I feel like he's got a criminal record. So, yeah, no... Yeah. All the crops have grown. Come harvest. All right. So how do we get more of those bombs? Feels like we didn't... One bomb is not going to be enough. I really wanted to do more tuna hunting, but we only got one bomb. Uh-oh. Our little critter wants attention. Uh, let's see. Eye Diver. So to upgrade the... Wow, the d drone is... Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, you can only use it one time. Okay. So maybe the bombs are unlimited based on how many times we can use the salvage drone. That's probably it. But we're probably going to be able to salvage more things than the tuna, so that probably would be a good thing to get. So we need more pink seashells by five. We need to get two skulls. Oh, but we got this one done. Seaweed and sea grape. We'll go plant more. Actually, we got a lot more planting, so we're good there. Research marine plants, seaweed and kelp. Or sea grape and seaweed. Okay, we'll just grow more of that. Uh, I haven't found these sh uh, fish yet. And I think the fried egg ones only come out at night. Spicy tuna time? Chad, it is time for spicy tuna, but first we gotta go to the farm. Hell yeah! Alright, more weeds in the rice patties already? Expedi oh, they're ready in one date. One day. Actually, can I check all that on my phone? We can harvest the wheat. Alright, let's grow some more... Uh... What else he's got? What do you got for me, bud? Well, we're about to make this vegetable sushi. I need another farm plot, though. I'm gonna buy three more garlic, though.
Cool. More land? Yeah. I think I have to talk to him to buy it, but I, he hasn't... He doesn't let me buy it yet. I, something else has got to happen. All right, let's go check the fish farm, and then it's time for pepper tuna. Hundred and seven percent density. Oh yeah, there we go. We got sixteen. Um... So I can sell these or send them to the kitchen. Okay, so we can't use these guys for the eco thing. We have to catch them manually. All right then, we'll sell the low qualities. That'll help to pay for some of the seeds we just bought. Let's send three to the kitchen. Wow, look at all these yellow tang, jeez. Alright, I'm going to be managing our fish thing here for a little bit. This is cool though, this gives you a lot of extra fish. Because, you know, you capture them and then take their fish... The row, and then... Boom. Cool. Bum, 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 bum. I want to get another white tip reef shark. Oh, these are all just rank two. those numbers go up a little bit. Okay, that's good. Man, this right here feels like doing Tamagotchi. Wow. Alright, so we're going to sell these low qualities. Oh, the barracudas, man. I'll leave them alone. Music here is nice. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Alright, so everything's at ones. I'll leave those alone. That's good. Alright, fine. Alright, on to the 250s. Whoa, that's a lot of stuff in there. Whoa. Hey, we got multiple sharks. Damn.
Happy Friday, yes indeed. You can't wait to try this yourself. You just bought the game and downloaded it. Awesome. Dave the Diver is a very fun game. We've been having a lot of fun with it. Right now we're just managing our fish farm and trying to get some of the lower level fish out and then breed them to get higher level fish. And this is big money for our sushi restaurant because then we can get rid of all the uh, stuff we don't need and get high quality ingredients. High quality H2O. Okay, let's go with these. Wow, 500 bucks for those? Damn. We're making a lot of money just from f selling fish. Look at that. Reminds you of a fish tycoon game? Oh, yeah, there's like a couple of really good aquarium games out there. I remember I played one a few years ago called like Mega Aquarium or something like that. It'd be kind of cool. Why these kinds of games never come out on iOS or iPhone? Well, good question. This could be a good game for a mobile phone. We were talking yesterday, chat about this game being perfect, perfect for like a Steam Deck. And uh, I've been thinking about getting a Steam Deck, you know? Oh, these are all. F oh, nice. Send that to the kitchen. A fang tooth. All right, let's sell those. I got 14 cookie cutter sharks. Bro, the cookie cutter shark just looks like a giant, like, uh, sturgeon. Bum, 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 bum. All right. Well, let's sell some of our sturgeons. Oh, well. We've got only low tier on these. But, hey, look at that. Boom, another 550. Wow. All right, I'll keep them at three. That's fine. Man, this place is going to make it. We're, we're probably going to make more money tonight from selling fish from the fish tanks than we would at the, at the restaurant. No way. I'll let their numbers go up a little bit. Yeah, some of them at threes and fours, it's like we need to wait a little bit on. I really want to send a lot of them to the kitchen so we can enhance. Because that's going to be the only way in the future to enhance some of these meals is by getting like just like 45 fish to just do the enhancement, which is crazy. A lot of these are just ones. Yeah, okay. Oh, dude, a barrel eye. Oh, man, the barrel eye is really cool. Is that in our thing? I want to... Have you guys ever seen the barrel eye before? Let me see if that's on here. It might be hard to see in this one. Oh, there's a boss in the glacial zone. Uh, where's the barrel eye? Oh, there it is. Well, it's kind of hard to tell, but basically it's got like a clear head and its eyes are like inside of its head. So it's, it's like driving through a windshield. It's like having a, a like a pilot sitting in a submarine. It's freaking weird. Yeah, there it is. A small deep fish has big spherical eyes inside its transparent skin. Freaking weird. But it's so cool. Isn't nature fascinating? Wow. Oh, we got a copper shark. And a white shrimp. Eh, I'll leave them alone. Some of these need a little bit more time. All right, let's go make some vegetable sushi. Wow, we made... We're up over 5K now. How much was that upgrade? 6,300. All right, let's go. Hot Pepper Tuna. Maybe it's going to play. This, this is an absolute banger song. Hopefully it plays. Hey, yo, are you ready? Hey, Sammy. How's it going, bro? Right on time. 
Have a seat. It won't take long. Oh, man. We're going to get a cut scene where Sammy, his life is going to... Boncho is going to make a sushi so dank that Sammy's face is going to, like, just... Just watch. This is going to be amazing. Here we go. Here we go. Ingredients have arrived. Fried egg jellyfish, yellow tang. Beautiful. All right, let's give it to him. Talk to MC Sammy. Oh yeah, we're gonna talk, all right. Game of the year. Yeah. Yes, this is it, Pepatuna. <laughs> Bro, vegetables on a tractor were like they were they were popping the hydraulics on his hat. I mean, this game is just. Please buy this game, Chad. Yes, this is it. The taste of vegetable sushi reminds me of my younger days. This guy is like 22. Shout out. Shout out. Uh, your vegetable sushi is perfect. What's the secret? Meth. I mean, uh, meth shark. I mean, uh, meth vegetables. We grow meth. Uh, all I did was season properly. A little meth. Also, I did. I got some help from my acquaintances for the ingredients. Mr. White, son, what? dad, oh, that's Otto's son. Um, I wondered who'd eat something like vegetable sushi. I didn't know it was you. Uh, I had people talking about someone who looks like you. That's why I visited here and ordered the vegetable sushi. Uh, it's been eight years since you left home. You never contacted us ever since. Uh, well, it's a long story. There was a storm and I got shipwrecked on an uninhabited island. It was just the trees and the uh, sea. I worked hard to get food and water and sometimes hunted wild animals with a harpoon gun and roasted them. <laughs> I had to spend some years on the island until I got rescued and settled here. Wow. What a story, Dad. Uh -huh. I wanted to visit home after securing a stable life here, <laughs> but it took so long and time flew by. I'm sorry, my boy. Uh -huh. The folks at the village think you abandoned us, Dad. <laughs> my friends pitied me, and some mocked me. Yeah. I began writing music and singing songs to relieve stress, and I became a rapper. <laughs> My son has grown into such a fine young man, even without me. I'm proud of you, son. I blamed you so much at first, but the music healed me, gave me inner peace. Oh, since you come all the way here, why don't you stay at the farm? Shout out. Shout out. Of course, like old times. <laughs> uh, since you're all grown up, we can have a beer together. Bye, Sammy. How lovely. Now that means that we're probably going to be able to expand the farm. Because Sammy is going to work there now. What a plot twist. The rapper was the son of Otto. They have some uh, something in common. Both are quite talkative. Yeah, I agree. It's a good thing. Bancho Sushi helped them to re reunite. The two must have much to say. I hope they can resolve their misunderstandings. 1,000 gold, 50 likes, and the MC Sammy vinyl record. Oh, let's put that on right now. Wait, can we change the music in this place? Ah, oh, you can only change the damn design of it. Damn it. Man, imagine after a little while, the devs are going to get a lot of feedback on this game. And there'll probably be more features to, like, customize and add more fish and stuff just for free and for fun. Wow. Let's go ahead and uh, 
Prepare our ingredients. Check conditions for increasing your rating in Cook's app. Oh, wait, we have a full night tonight now. We didn't go out at night for once, so. Uh, I think we should still sort by taste. And continue to enhance. We need a dish that's over 250 and we have none. Our best bet would be the comb jelly sushi. All right, so rather than selling any sort of comb jellyfishes anymore, we gotta we gotta send them all pretty much to the restaurant. So that's gonna be probably where we're gonna. Okay, so a side goal, Chad, is we're gonna have to go get comb jelly fish whenever we go down to the village. So we're gonna have to make a stop there and do that. Unless we can enhance one of these and like really make a banger, like our seahorse udon. Nah, it'll only go to 153. We still got a hundo to go. We could enhance this though. Damn, people paid. Damn. Wow. Oh boy, here we go. The sword one. Sushi's gonna explode. Okay, enhance has been completed. Uh, bluefin tuna. Oh, 105 on that. Let's see. I think we should enhance this. So let's do that. We're going to get a lot more tuna anyway. Plus, we got the tuna fest coming soon, so we should probably have the best tuna ever. So, actually, let's enhance again. We'll have plenty of time to get more tuna. All right, let's sort by price and get some money today. Since we can't do flavor. So one of these, which is 10. One of these, which is 550. So that's 20. Mm, don't know about that. This is three at a time. Could enhance again and bring that up to six I think no just three okay that's fine all right so that's 13 Do vegetable sushi again. That's 16. Mega mouth again. Hmm, that'll bring that up to 209. Nice. Any chance you uploaded the existing one? Oh, you mean the uh, the pep the first time pepper tuna? I'm I'll have to see if I have the clip. I'm not sure.
Oh, you're mixing up all the cutscenes. I see. All right, so we're at 16. Ah, uh, let's go all in. We killed this Mega Mouse Shark tons of times. I'll just get rid of it. All right, so we're going with what, 26? I think that's fine. All right, let's go. Oh wait, I wanted to, uh... I should have hired new staff the other day. I want to see if I can find myself. I should have did another ad the other day. Dude, I got I just got you as a worker at the restaurant. Damn it, Jarrett. See, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to hire myself. I found Dre, I found Co Carnage. I can't find myself yet. I found somebody who looked like damn Jason Voorhees. By the name of James. Like, yeah, sure, James. Sure. Oh, that cooking skill would be great. I think we should enhance her again. Because she keeps... Yeah, permanently increase. Yep. Yeah. yeah, we're giving you a training. I should try to do that on her every time. But I do want to save some money for... The uh, salvage drone. Because we need those tuna. So we can make hot pepper tuna. Uh, all right, let's open it up. Let's go. So busy. There are no items on the menu. All right, we ran out of food. Oh, that was perfect timing. Nice. No more customers coming in. Ooh, you get so many more customers if you don't go out at night. made 12,920 oh my god dude we like all over doubled doubled our previous high of oh my god <laughs> wow that was so much money that mantis shrimp with soy paste was great hi she fox welcome aboard the goblin shark <sighs> belly roast wow Wow. That was huge. Massive difference. And that's all because we were able to like, oh, oh no, now we gotta do this super late night mission. Oh no. Oh boy. All right, we're on a stealth mission now. We're gonna sneak into an enemy base. Ooh, this should be enough. Dave, you're here. It's so dark. Are you sure there's something there? Uh, just put in the infiltration gear. 
It'll help you stay unnoticed. Oh, bro, we're going in on a stealth mission. <laughs> you hope she fox is snacking? She fox can come on into Boncho Sushi. Come on in. We'll get you a. Uh, I know you don't like beer, but we'll uh, we'll get you something. A little, little brewski. You got. There's got to be a beer you like. Come on. But you do like sushi. I'm pretty sure. Oh, I feel like I'm being a secret agent. Oh. Dress for success. You look ready to enter the Dark Moses Island in that. Dark Moses? You mean Shadow Moses from Metal Gear Solid? Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. Dude, this developer makes every single reference that I just love. I, I just can't believe it. Morning. Shadow Moses Island to defeat Metal Gear Rex and Metal Gear Solid. Oh my god. Well, into the water now, you'll see roaming drones underwater. Follow them unnoticed, I bet they'll lead you to Sea Blue's base. All right, leave your weapons here. What, you want me to infiltrate their base unarmed? What, you mean procured on site like in Metal Gear Solid? Sea Blue runs a tight security system with sentry drones and sensors. One of the drones detects a weapon, it'll alert the base immediately. This is a covert operation, going in secretly and coming back with a mechanical part. Simple, right? Oh, you mean we're entering the base via Wa the water like in Metal Gear Solid? <sighs> what I'm doing here, skipping sleep. Alright, let's go. Oh, that's gonna be an awesome stealth section. Sushi yes, vodka no. G Fox, you used to be cool, man. What happened? No beer, no vodka. What happened, man? Uh, that must be one of Sea Blue's sentry drones. I should follow it from a distance. I have no weapons, so I can't do any fishing here. Hey, stay away from me. Crazy Ivan. He pulled a crazy Ivan. Dead stop, turn to look. Jesus, my God. Whoa, whoa, every, oh my God, oh my God. Puffer fish, trigger fish. Oh my God. That was there the whole time? A hidden entrance? I should hurry before the door closes. Go, 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 go. Ooh, a cutscene. Let me guess, guards in white suits? Oh my god, dude! No effing way! They even mimic the music from Metal Gear Solid. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me, dude! <sighs> Isn't this too big to be a hidden base? What are these facilities for? Bro, they're making nukes, except I think it's tuna. Machines producing dolphin meat? Oh, what? They're processing dolphin meat. Oh, sea blue head. Oh, of course. They're a massive megacorp. Of course. I'm confused. Aren't uh, sea blue environmentalists? What in the world are these for? I must find some mechanical parts for now. Retrieve the tech part. Be careful not to get caught by soldiers or cameras. Oh, oh, look at the box. Look at the cardboard box. Gotta be a guard coming, right? Are these guys wearing Tucker hats? Game of the frickin' year, dude. No way! 
Oh, I thought we got to go in the box. All right, sorry, I got a little excited. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to yell. I'm sorry. Oh, ah. oh. Oh my god, the game over screen. Oh my god, wait, wait, wait. Hold on, let's get caught. Wait, I skipped. Look at this, we're gonna get caught on purpose. Look at the game over screen. Look, 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 look. Sir, arrest me. Look at this. Freaking Metal Gear! <laughs> it's perfect, dude. That's the Metal Gear screen. No effing way. Oh, game of the year. These guys are processing dolphins? This is sad. Dave? Dave! Oh, that would have been good if they put that in. Oh, if they would have put that in, that would be amazing. I'm gonna do a shoulder roll over the uh, orange box. I don't know how to go up the ladder. Do I just hit spacebar on it or what? Let's just see if we can go without being caught. <laughs> he didn't see me for a second though. I'm trying to hit spacebar. I guess maybe we just go up. All right, we gotta be patient. Sorry, I'm just, I'm just so excited. This is amazing. I love this so much. Yeah, this pleases me. I completely agree. This also pleases me. Nope, not that sound. This pleases me. Yes. This pleases me. All right. First try. Tactical espionage action. Let's go. Chat, I feel like we got to play the original Metal Gear. Disguise as Box. Well, She Fox, you'll be happy to know that there is a character in that game called Gray Fox. Oh, I didn't see the camera. My bad. I thought it was a light. Sorry. I'm so excited. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm having a good time. I'm sorry. It won't happen again. <sighs> Alright, full, full disguise. Can't get too close. See my big ass hanging out on that ladder? All right. Uh, am I supposed to hide in that fridge? Silent takedown. Oh my god, I made it. No effing way. <laughs> oh my god, no way! The rations from Metal Gear. Military rations in a tin case. It's hard to imagine what they would taste like. They give you a ration? Is there? Am I going to fight Revolver Ocelot next? This is ridiculous, this game. Bro, this is like that one game we played, chat. What was it called? Uh, um, what the hell was that? The, the metal one? It was the top-down game with all the bosses. If it makes a sound, like... Whoop, ration Eater. Oh my god! The stamina bar from Metal Gear Solid 3 and the health bar too? Oh my god, dude. <laughs> this is genius. 
Yes, it's like On Metal. On Metal is a, if you like Dave the Diver and this section, do yourself a favor and check out On Metal. It's probably on Steam for like two bucks right now because of the Steam Summer Sale. Oh my god. I'm having a hell of a time. Looks like an office. Looks like it contains some mechanical parts. Man, I missed my warm, clean bed at home. Keep the sea blue poster. I can't believe what they've been doing behind everyone's back. Has a drawing of the uh, sea blue research. Wait, is that me in the picture? Four component of the sea blue tech suit. Looks quite complicated. On metal is $7.99. Get yourself on metal. That game is amazing. Good, here it is. Let me take it. Boss battle. Come on, give me a boss battle, please. Oh, they're pushing? Am I gonna go to jail? Please let there be a prison section. Oh. Oh, that's my game of the year, yeah. Oh, a shooting star. Magical. Romantic. Oh, Dave, you came back in one piece. Yeah. Kind of. Well, I sense a lack of trust in your voice regarding my survival skills. Oh, come on. Take a look at the uh, at this thing. Sea Blue's mechanical part in pristine condition. Why didn't you warn me of the armed pirates? Honestly, I didn't know of their presence. Anyway, I found many pieces of equipment used to process and fish, uh, freeze fish at the Sea Blue's base. And I believe they caught some dolphins as well. Isn't Sea Blue a group of environmentalists? Doesn't that make them hypocrites? Knowing they have been exposed might make them more dangerous. You better be careful. Anyway, get some rest. It's getting late. I'll talk to Dr. Bacon tomorrow. Ah. Uh. Why are they always so shocked about a survival? I don't know. Dave's the only one here doing anything. Everybody else is just advisors. I went home late. Couldn't sleep well last night. Oh, you did a good job last night. Let's go report to Dr. Bacon. Hey, Dave. I heard that you acquired an intact mechanical part. Yes, with difficulties. Here, take it. Ah, yes. This is it. Good job, Dave. Alright. Now I have everything I need. I'll go to the lab and craft a cold-resistant suit, but I'm worried about the fact that the glacial area is unstable. I suggest you get a good weapon as well as a good suit. There was a new material developed at the lab. The dive knife can be upgraded. As usual, you can upgrade it through iDiver. Upgrading the dive knife may not only increase its attack power, but you can also mine minerals that could only... Be mined with a pickaxe. Oh, that's good. Now we don't have to get a pickaxe anymore. Oh, then I won't have to go looking for the pickaxe. Give it. Give me a day to craft the suit. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, bacon emote. Bacon emote. A cold resistant suit. I wonder what that would look like. Uh, good question. Like Dr. Bacon said, a suit won't be enough to protect yourself. Uh, don't you think you should bring a weapon? Mm. I think so, too. Mm -hmm. I'll go ask Duff. Oh, baby. You can now enhance the dive knife and eye diver. Enhancing the knife will increase base damage and allow you to gather higher grade materials. Oh, yeah. Oh, see people's workshop. Does that mean we can finally go to the blacksmith? Hi. Hello, Dave. Have a good night's sleep. Yeah. Did you spend enough time talking with Sammy yesterday? <laughs> oh, of course. We'd not seen each other for so long before yesterday, so we definitely had a good time. <laughs> By the way, I want to show you something. <laughs> Come to my farm if you have time.
He opened up another field, guaranteed. Oh, this is, this is game is so good, it's getting better. A chicken? Never mind, this is even better. Oh my god, Sammy has like purple hair. Huh? Chickens? And, um, Sammy, what happened to your clothes? Get out. Hey, yo. <laughs> I talked to my pops yesterday, got all sentimental, you know what I'm saying? I became a rapper because I love music, but I got tired of that celeb life. I think we could use them to cook with. I'll give them to you when we're here. Take them to the cook. Okay. So you cook music? Yeah. No, no. <clears throat> I'll sit here and enjoy my rural life and nature while writing new songs. Yeah. <clears throat> you know, I can release new songs at any time online these days. So it's easy to do that. Hmm. Well, by the way, what's up with the chicken? I started... I shared some food with neighbors and they gave us chickens in return. Uh -huh. I wanted to make yummy fried chicken, but my son wanted it to lay eggs. <laughs> and he made a chicken farm overnight. He reminds me of my younger self. Hey yo, I got inspiration from the rhythm of the hammer, you know? Hey yo. It warms my heart to see you and your son together. Speaking of the chicken, from now on, I will offer you eggs at my farm. Eggs, you say? Mm. I can't give you more than one egg because it's only one chicken on the farm. If you want more chickens, ask Sammy. Hey yo, remember only one chicken per egg, or oh, one egg per chicken per day, no more. There are two grades for eggs, A and B. Good grade chickens like good grade eggs. I'll come here with my pops. Come visit me often, yo. Eggs, huh? Macho's menu will be expanded for sure. You can now raise chickens. Oh my God, that's awesome. You can acquire chicken uh, eggs in the morning. Uh, try developing new recipes. Oh, we have to come in the morning. Okay. Oh, the rice is ready too. I like how he auto claps every time we harvest stuff. I think. Yep. Harvest completed. Yeah, that means we get dino nuggets now. Oh wow, we can buy a lot of stuff from him. Nutrient compost, harvest up fertilizer. What does that do? Increases the yield of plants. Oh, so one makes them grow faster, one makes them pest resistant. Okay. Ooh. Expanding a field costs two. Well, that's not too bad. We got 18,000, so... Whoa. To buy an egg from him is... Wait, does that help us to grow a chicken? Wait, let me talk to Sammy quick. White chicken, rename. Oh my god, we can name it. And we'll name it after the next person who clicks or tap join and becomes a member right now. Everybody's standing by. Bob? Maybe. Maybe Bob. Name the chicken tuna. We'll see who's fast enough. Poultra. <laughs> Sounds like a Transformers name. Ulysses? What the hell? This game has outdone itself. Yeah, this game is like beyond stellar. Beyond stellar. Game of the year. Game of the year. Jimmy Neutron? Chicky. Does the chicken just run around eating worms and occasionally fertilizing the crops? I don't know if it'll fertilize, but we'll see. Asura became a raptor egg again. Welcome back. Thank you very much for your membership and enjoy your new chicken name. That's awesome. Thank you for the support. All right, let's talk with Sammy, Ayo. Dad's never schooled me. Oh, scolded me, Ayo. Yeah. He told me to do whatever I want, Ayo. Wow. The only problem is that he goes on and on, Ayo. Oh, we can buy free-range chicken. Okay. Ah, so a free-range chicken has a 70% chance to make a grade A egg. I think we should buy a chicken. 
another one, another one. All right, let's name our chicken after our next member, next person to click or tap join. We're gonna name the next chicken after you. So where do I get these eggs? Are they just on the ground? I guess the one, this one hasn't laid it yet. I think we can buy ch eggs from him too, but I think we get eggs for free if we buy the chicken. But in a pinch we can buy yeah. All right, let's uh, let's do some rice. So we need. Can I buy six things of rice? Oh, we have sixteen in stock. Wait, I don't think we can plant those. I think rice seed is different from harvested rice for food in the game. Yeah, because we need the seeds at the bottom. Boy, expanding that farm field is going to be expensive. Ah, oh, damn it. I just bought the wrong ingredients from him. Yeah, so it is different, but then how the hell do I get him to do it? Oh, wait. That's right. Yeah, I think you have to do this. Or not? As we're in Sky, thank you very much for becoming a member. Let's get that chicken named after you, too. Rice is automatically done. Oh, really? I don't remember. New member, welcome. Welcome aboard. Welcome to the chicken farm. Thank you very much. Well, we got some plants here to harvest, so let's do that. Oh, we got to take care of our little critter. Okay. Does he have any new seeds for us? No. Let's grow some more wheat. by that second field. Alright, I'll slightly expand the vegetable farm by tomorrow morning. Okay. So rice is automatic, like it feels well, actually, yeah, when you talk to him, I think he mentions that. I think you're right. Use white rice from the farm to make better quality sushi. All grow the rice, just kill off the insects now and then. Okay, so it's free. Yeah, we're going to upgrade the drone. Oh, there's new stuff, too. Drone is top priority, though. Oh, please, please. Okay, I thought there was going to be a cutscene. Wait, now, I thought they mentioned talk to Duff about the knife. Nope. Oh, these were the two that... Okay, the sticky bomb and the grenade launcher were two different weapons. Okay. So I just got to find one more sticky bomb blueprint. And or two more for the grenade launcher. Then we're good to go. Yeah, you made a Skyrim reference, too, yeah. Um... Eco-watcher... Oh, I need to remove jellyfish, okay. Alright, let's water. And then I need to buy the thing and then we'll leave.
All right. And then maybe by tomorrow the chickens will, um... Can we upgrade the coop at all? No. Sure. Sound of water and insects here feels like a beat sometimes. Yo. I should make this into a song these days. Hip-hop is not just about glamorous city life. Okay. All right, let's get the, um... Upgraded dive knife might be needed. It'll be easier than getting that pickaxe. It'll save us a lot of time. Yeah. All right, bye. We'll buy more seeds tomorrow and stuff. Back to the boat. All right, so more tuna today and no dying. All right, what do you got? A trigger bomb, a sensor net trap. Is that the one we need for tuna? I feel like that's different. Oh, we can sell some of this stuff. Goldfish statue. I feel like everything else is too important to, uh, to get rid of. We need this trap for the uh, tuna? Okay. So we don't get it automatically? We have to buy it every time? That's annoying. Thanks, chat. Alright, so we'll start shallow because... The tuna might be shallow, too. Make a phone call to Duff. Oh boy, this will be an interesting combo. How's it going, Dave? It's been a while. What can I do for do you for? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to explore the glacial area, and I'm not sure if the weapon I have will be enough. Okay. Ah, the huge glacier in the deep sea. I've heard about your mission. I planted a tracker in the gun. You could have told me that earlier. But the one I can craft right now, with the ingredients I have, will not be that different. Okay. Unless I can get my hands on some new uh, minerals. Mm -hmm. Dave, I know that you frequent the Sea People Village. Mm -hmm. Why don't you look for new materials mm -hmm. there? Speaking of the village, I wonder how the Sea People Workshop is going. Oh yeah, we get to go there too. Mm -hmm. I should pay a visit. Okay. Oh, we gotta work our way down there. Talk to Dua the Sea Person. Uh, A.K.A. the blacksmith, I think. All right, let's go get ready for this tuna event. Let's go. All right, let's go find ourselves some tuna. Whoa, 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 jerks. Damn it. They're too fast. Uh, uh oh. We might need a different trap. I think we need to steal one. 
We need the steel trap, I think. But I couldn't buy that from him, so we must have to find it as an item out of the yellow boxes, maybe. Dave the Diver's on sale. Yep, this game's been out uh, since like two or three days now. So we need to get those steel traps. No biggie. Hey, the nice thing about tuna is at least we don't have to, like, um... We don't have to catch them. Like, we don't have to carry them. Well, I do need to remove a few of these guys. One of our missions is to get rid of these guys. Can you harp on the tuna? I can do whatever I want. Sniper rifle. I think I just want the net gun for now. Wow, rude. Black vinegar, nice. Shark, not nice. Oh. Sir, I'm trying to get the white leg thingy. the knife. <laughs> Gotta find where that damn steel trap is. Got to be one around here somewhere. Yeah, one of our missions is go to the sea people, that's right. We'll have to work our way down there. That's well, the same, I think. Go to the right side. Does the net gun work on tuna or are they too big? Now they're too fast. He mentioned that we need to get a steel trap for that made of like steel cable and chain. So I think we have to randomly find it, but I thought it was something we could maybe buy from him. But I didn't see it in like the weapons thing or in his store. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, we're supposed to remove seaweed too? Or no, gather it, yeah. Cool. Oh, that manta ray again. Oh, I'm gonna catch you, sir. You're a pain. save that for the tuna. So that's how we get a higher quality, larger meat. So that's how we're going to get like tier 3 shark meat and stuff. That makes sense. That's cool. Hmm. Very interesting. So the drone is going to be like another big upgrade. Bigo upgrade. Can you still raise sharks in the fish farm? Yeah, that's true. You'll get the row for it. It'll, it'll just take a little extra time. No deal, eel. Yeah, there's a few shipwrecks in the game. Opened up a lot of yellow boxes, but no, no steel bombs yet. We can find some tuna, though. Um, well, actually, one of them should already be in the fish farm, I think. We don't have a lot of time till this big O tuna event. Oh boy. just get slapped by a fish. Yeah, they'll plow into you at high speed. We're eventually going to get weapon upgrades, so we need more parts. speed low drag yeah I gotta find some steel traps Can we hush dart tuna? Um, I don't think so. Oh, nice, another skull. We needed that. 
Yeah, I think we need something in a... I, we need to put it in a net so the submarine can take it away. That's how it transports it. Ooh, a pink one. I need that. I'm not sure how to get these traps. The one we bought from uh, Cobra was too small. Unless it was the other one we were supposed to buy. But none of those looked right. I wonder, let me check. Hmm. It's like a couple of bombs in the game. We need like the particular one. Yeah, the portal on the boat goes to the Sea People Village. But if we return to the boat, it'll be a different time of day. So I looked it up, apparently the sensor from Dave is still the first thing to catch tuna with, then more things later in the game. Hmm. How do we get more of those sensors? We got one for free in kind of like a tutorial section that showed us how it worked. And we were able to catch a few tuna, then I used those tuna to um, enhance the tuna. But I want to be able to catch more. Let's check down here. Barracuda, yeah. <laughs> oh, chat. Hmm. Oh, sir. I don't know if I've killed him before yet. Everything in this game is so dangerous. Jerry with the five bomb for the chatty chatters. Thank you very much for dropping five gifted memberships to chat. Dude, that hammerhead has a huge uh, aggro range. Gift bomb emotes in chat.
Well, I guess our other option is to shoot the tuna and kill them. And then we can... Well, I don't think we can do that, actually. Because we can use this salvager drone to bring him back. Let's try to use the salvager drone. That'll bring him back for a higher quality, I think. Well, it only was rank two. I think you use that drone only when you net them, but then it wouldn't work for the larger fish. Maybe we get more row out of it or something. guys I don't think so nope that jump though I want to get more of those guys but we'll do that later Uh, since her traps are only available in the shop, so it might not show up, says the help page. It also agrees that they're bad after the tutorial, otherwise shoot them. Really? Alright, thank you. Okay, so we can only get sensor traps from Cobra, but Cobra's shop is only open in the mornings, and it's an RNG thing. That sucks. So if we want the best quality tuna, we just gotta get lucky. So what's the best way to get tuna, then? They probably have a lot of health, so we would need... Alright, chat wants us to try the hush dart, so let's give that a try. Alright, let's go look for a tuna, see if we can put him to sleep. guys too. One more. Okay. Turn that other quest in on the phone. Alright, we're getting a lot of stuff done. That accounts for the eco quest, so there they are. Oh, damn. Alright. So we know they turn around down here. Standing by. It had no effect on him. It slowed him down, but that was it. You gotta be kidding me. Oh my god. Alright. So they th swim through the net, they're immune to, uh. <laughs> they're immune to trank darts. You can't. Okay. Ah, uh, that's going to make that quest a little tricky. Uh, I'm not sure how we're going to get uh, Tuna if we can't. Okay. Alright, we're going to the village. Yeah, Tuna OP.
Alright, well, Chad had some good ideas. Put him to sleep. That was a good idea, but it didn't work. Buying those bombs from the shop. They seem like the right bombs, but we need something called, like, the steel net trap. I feel like they should redo that a little bit. Either make it an item that, uh... I feel like that should just be an item that Duff gives you for free? Just like how you get the, um... Or something you gotta do, like how you get the camera and the little net to catch. Or just, you know, just give the player a freebie and then, like... Give us one bomb and then let us pay for upgrades through Duff to get, like, two or three bombs. Or however they want it to work. So let's try to put a shark to sleep and use our salvager drone. Maybe this boy? This guy's worth a lot of money as our sushi. What the hell? Does that only slow him down? Net bomb is best. Oh, for this guy? Yeah, maybe I could use the net bomb on him. fight. I see there's O2, but I want to lose him first. Barracudas, man, they're too, too annoying. All right, I'm gonna save the sub just in case we find something down. You got them upgraded to level ten on your menu and have a fish farm stocked with them. Oh, with the, uh, with these boys. Yeah, these guys are really good. The long nose uh, sawfish is like worth a lot of money. Maybe use the net gun on the tuna? Nah, it's, they're, they're too strong. They're too big, fast, and strong. Those break through like a bear. Oh, we're already over cucumbered again. That's right, let's go down to the village and chat. I mean, well, at least we have some tuna, so we can, like, at least finish it a little bit, but... We only have a few days till the big tuna fest, and I can't really control... Well, these guys make some good money.
Oh well. Whoa, sir. Pretty close to the village. I eh, better grab one at least. been down here before. Okay. Look at that lady was sick and you gotta bring her food. Okay. Starfish, okay. That yeah, seems rare. We'll grab one. Alright, we're working our way down to the village. Oh no, we gotta go through Big Mouth. There's that rhino shark, too. I'm gonna see if there's any skull here. One's in the chat for a skull. One's in the chat for some good luck on the skull. Let's go. Whoa, flame harpoon tip three. Whoa. All right, one's in the chat. Hey, you did it, chat. Hell yeah. And now quest complete. Good job, chat. Hell yeah, first try. Good work. I'm proud of you. Everybody's swag is upgraded 3,000%. I was here. Put in the chat, too. I was here. The VOD will see it. Oh, dude. Can't go that way. 
Wait a minute. Yeah, I could. Close to the village. Man, the village is way down here. So it doesn't look like we're finding. Yeah, th those uh, explosives are going to have to be. We've opened so many boxes and stuff. We've got to be able to buy that. But the fact that Cobra like has it randomly is annoying. here you can uh, you know you can screenshot that part of the stream and then print it out and put it on your wall all right we're here Hopefully we don't need a lot of money to get uh, stuff from the blacksmith. He might try to charge us bay. To which I'll be like, sir, can I take out a loan from the bank of bay? Give me a sticky bomb gun. Oh. Well, at least we got a big damage harpoon. slow. Alright. So, let's turn in some quests at the board. What else we need to do? Talk to the blacksmith. Plant some more seeds. Maybe do some gambling. Hmm. Maybe the flame heart poom will work against doing it. Yeah, it could. But now I think I'm out of like submarine things to bring them back. So, I like, I don't think we need the salvage sub. I think that. Using the steel net and then bringing them out via the salvage sub is the way to get the three-star tuna. Otherwise, I think shooting them is possible, but then we just don't get as much, like, ranking on it. Oh, the only thing we need is the cookie cutter, my bad. We still gotta go over this way. But yeah, that that section's a little a little rough, especially since we got like a time limit. I'm still not feeling well, but good enough to re reopen the sh workshop. No, oh, you're open. What do you sell? A uh, wide variety of mi uh, minerals available. I'll give you a good deal on them. If you know someone who knows what to do with minerals, it'd be good to bring it to them. Ah, uh, duff. Oh, and uh, if you find something in the sea, bring it to me, and I'll buy it at a good price. Ah, okay. So we can sell stuff to him in exchange for Bay. Alright. I'll stop by your place before going up. Anyways, it's good to know that you're getting better. Keep in touch, Dua. You can purchase ingredients from, from Dua's workshop to enhance weapons. Dua exchanges certain ingredients for Bay. Steel rope. Used to enhance guns. Ooh, we might need to buy a few of these things from him. Oh, this is all new stuff. Steel rope, ice, diamonds, coral orbs, opal tubes, lava discs.
Oh yeah, we could sell things here. I think I should get some money with the sea people. Yeah, we should get some money here too. Last, probably. Is this New Zealand? Yes. All right, now we got 206. We might need to, um, like, mandatory buy stuff from him. I'm not sure, though. Anyway, thanks, Brad. Thanks, Brad. Uh, Raptor, can I have some of the minerals? I need to construct additional pylons. I like that joke. This pleases me. This pleases me. Weight exceeded. Wow, rude. Rude. Alright, well, what's some crap we can drop? Hmm. Maybe some of the seashells? I think I'm going to drop some of the seashells. Not the pink one, though. Oh, these are only 0.2 kg. Um, well, it might be enough for seaweed. still over encumbered I'd need to drop like a lot of stuff so never mind we'll just uh, we'll just come back it's fine All right, what's our current to-do list they want us to kill cookie cutter sharks all right I'm just gonna have to come back buy some mineral for the weapon guy I'm not sure what Duff needs, though, for certain weapon enhancements. There's new stuff now, but I'm not sure what we should invest our money in. But that's what we can do in the future. Well, let's just go back up top. Go into the mirror. go to the boat. We'll be coming back to this village many times. It's a smart idea for them to put the mirror there, because, man, it takes a long time to get down there. Oh, Duff's calling now. Now he wants stuff. Okay. Oh, that's a new type of mineral. How do you know when we're talking over the phone? I installed a CCTV on your boat. <laughs> Anyways, I'll work on a new weapon when a mineral arrives. I'll add the ingredients I need to the list, secure them, and let me know. Oh, now we have a list. I eagerly await for the never-before-seen minerals to arrive. Goodbye, eternity. Yeah. New gun list. Hell yeah, brother! You can now create weapons with the Sea People materials. Visit the workshop of the Sea People Village to find out about new materials available. 
Yeah, so we found... Oh, some of these weapons require boss parts, so we might have to go fight a boss again. Mantis Shrimp Tail, Opal Tube. Oh, hmm. So the choke point's not going to be the materials we can buy. It's going to be, like, the ones we have to get from bosses. Holy hell, I got a lot of stuff in that last <laughs> run. Uh... Nah. I'll take that, though. So wait, what are we talking about? Well, first of all, our, our pet needs feeding. Probably. Level up! Oh, it's gonna be that damn red-lipped fish that we took a picture of earlier in the game. Okay, eco water. We need more pink seashells. But we got the fossils done. That's done. Hell yeah. We removed the jellyfish. Hell yeah. So we need just more sea grapes and seaweed. And even more fossils. And remove white spotted jellyfish. Wait. Hold on a second. Tan. Wait, can you close this and... Oh, that sucks. All right. They should make it so that way if you play it on the phone, it overrides whatever music in the area that you're in. Oh. Well, we're going to listen to this.
All right, uh, is there, do they have the Metal Gear song in here? Oh, hey, there's the, um, there's our friend. This guy was in the chat, and he followed me on Twitter. He worked on some of the uh, music in the Sea People area of the game. Uh, DeAnthony Wotan. Ooh, that, that is the creepiest part of the game, is that underwater lake where you gotta r rescue the kids. Ooh, I already got goosebumps listening to that. Sharks like games. Oh, that's the damn gambling music. Oh boy. Finned Ancients. Oh yeah, Sea People area. Oh, he wrote the damn... Oh, he wrote the song for the mobile game. That's gonna be catchy. Gardening and things. Wow, that's a lovely beat. Cool. All right, let's um, let's go. Let's go fishing. But before we do, wait. I do want to check Eye Diver because we should buy stuff. Three thousand. Okay, we're out of money. Wait, no. We need to check Duff's weapon shop, don't we? So there's even more upgrades available now. Oh. This is a steel net gun. Would this catch tuna? I don't think so. A gun that fires a steel net increases the number of targets that can be captured as well as the rank. No, I don't think that would work. I don't, I don't think so. The only difference between this gun and that gun is that this one, look at all the things we gotta do. We gotta get 20 topaz, a pelican eel skin, and a steel rope just to get one more round. Like the magazine goes from five to six. That's it, we would just get one more shot basically. That's a lot of work just to get one upgrade like that. I haven't even seen some of these before. Oh, actually, uh, oh! Now that the game's released, they give you new items like the giant Trevally fin. Okay. Oh, we don't have any opal ore anyway, but that's a, that's a lot of work too. And that would just give one more shot as well. Oh, and do quite a bit more damage, though, from 14 to 56 to 19 to 75. That might be worth it, but I feel like just getting, like, for example, the sniper rifle. That'd be good. Like the red sniper rifle and then upgrading that might be worth even more. But this will basically cost us nothing in materials and give us a hilarious cutscene, so let's do it. Let's see what happens. Let's let's unlock some more weapons so we can upgrade them now that we get even further upgrades. Let's go. Every time. Equip the weapon right away. Not yet. I think the basic gun under rifle, underwater rifle is okay, but the sniper is just so much better. So now let's see the upgrades for that. So the range would go from 32 to 40, or the damage would go from 32 to 47. Range would stay 20, magazine would stay the same. So it only increases damage. We could get a another Metal Gear reference, the Trank Mosin Nagant that uh, the end uses in Metal Gear Solid 3. 40% chance of instant tranquilization. We need cuttlefish skin fragments. Yeah, the Da Vinci reference, yeah. Damn, I wish you could see what the... It'd be nice to see what the other upgrades cost, so that way you could know if you wanted to work towards it. I assume one called the Death Sniper Rifle probably kills anything instantly. Lightning, shock, poison. 
I think the tranquil would be nice, but um, yeah, that's why I've been picking up everything from the. It seems like I was a bit of a loot goblin, but now with some of these upgrades, yeah. Uh, the hush start. Mm, I don't want to make that yet. Okay, so we already have a small net gun. The basic underwater rifle is kind of mad. This is basically a shotgun. And this gave us what? Can't get any of those. Oh, it looks like they all require the same parts just for different guns. So, that's kind of cool. It'll be easy to rem remember, for example, that like the Trank stuff requires the Cuttlefish. Very nice. Hmm. Well, I think I want to still do netting. Netting is better for the uh, for the fish tank. Then we get higher quality, but I certainly want to upgrade the sniper rifle, so we can do that pretty much whenever. Okay, that's fine. So now should we just go down to the sea people again? We gotta get that cookie cutter shark quest out of the way. What the hell's that? Hammerhead shark skull. Oh. Alright, let's go to the sea people. Wait. One last thing. Okay. We're good. Let's go. You want a man book pro now? Yeah. Don't get the MacBook. Get the man book, brother. Get the brother book. Chad, happy Friday, by the way. Hope you're all enjoying your Friday. All right, let's go pick up all the seaweed for the restaurant tonight. Replant new stuff. The bra, the bra book. Bra. I like how you can see what you're growing here too. Like, right behind Dave right now is our field, and you can actually see what we were growing. That's cool. All right, so let's grow some grapes again. And I want more... We should do kelp and regular seaweed. We need that for a quest. Okay, so kelp and seaweed and then more grapes because we need that for some other recipes. And then at 300 we can expand the farm again, which is what I totally want to do. And we want to keep those minerals for duff, but I would like to sell other things here so we get some money. Or go gambling. But I'm going to need Chat's full help on, like, gambling. I don't think there's anything else I'd want to sell to this guy. Because these are all possible weapon parts. And or quests for, um... Uh, the Eco Watcher. Manatee? Yeah. Teehee. Manatee. -he. Alright, Cookie Cutter Shark's going to be our goal. And then we're probably going to go... Should we go to the glacial area, maybe, and get more... I guess we could do that. Go get a couple of fish out of the glacial area. Because tomorrow, Doc Bacon is going to have... Uh, Dr. Bacon's going to have the new cloth for us tomorrow. So we should be able to go down further into the glacial area and get even more fish from there. All right, chat, you're in charge. No scuba bears, please.
Hey! Damn it. UPS guy's here. I'm waiting for a package from YouTube. But I don't know what it is and I don't know when it's arriving, but I had to check because I saw him. Alright, let's go to the glacial area. What the hell is that? A poor beagle shark. Chad, I never really realized until the last couple of years how many sharks there are. Like Jaws and a few movies make you think like, oh, there's like four types of sharks in the world. Yeah. Four and then like a hundred more. This area music is badass. This is a great song. Alright, we're going back to see people. We needed those fish because they're a little, little more rare. A little more rare. Look at all those scuba bears in the chat. Oh, we're at nine new members, by the way. Thank you guys for smack and join. We're like 90 members away from getting a permanent cat emote, which is a big favorite here on the channel. Yeah, the kitty sound effect, so. So, smack that join button. Unlock those awesome emotes and more. Good perks, man. Good perks. Huge. Huge kitty. A lot of Untasi Katzen. I'll keep my uh, my net gun for now. We gotta go find ourselves a cookie cutter shark. When is the Red Dead stream? Next month. In July sometime. I'm gonna have to make some announcements and some definitive dates soon. Well, actually it's gonna I I'd prefer to do it when we get our uh, new PC, so if there's any delays with that or whatnot. Oh, I need these. Hey boys. I forgot all about you guys. We need every one of these jellyfish. Yeah, I've never played Red Dead 2 before. And I've never played a game really in 4K, so that'll be... It'll be new... new stuff. Am I gonna do a PC build stream? Well, I wanted to build it through a company called, um... Origin, they, they made my current PC, and I, I've never had a problem with this PC, and it's just been great for, like, the last... Like, the current PC that I have, I made late 2018. You guys remember 2018? Like, 40 years ago. But anyway, I figured since they did such a good job, and I was I was very happy with what and how they did things, that I'll, I'll just do that again. A tranquilizer harpoon. Ooh. That's interesting. You worked on Aurora, the uh, Intel Aurora project? Wow. Wow. We got some big brain chatty chatters chatting in the chat. Hey, is that diamond? I think so. Yeah, it is. 
Yeah, we'll be. Yeah, so the the goal is a lot of people have been requesting that I start streaming and sh showcasing games in 4K. Now, obviously, games like Dave the Diver, you know, this doesn't need to be in 4K to be enjoyable or whatnot. But, uh, you know, for the last, you know, a while ago, I was talking about getting a new mic and stuff, and then people were like, "Well, how come you didn't get a new mic?" And then I thought to myself, "Well, I'll get a new PC and then I'll buy everything at once." That means new monitors, new mics, new pretty much everything keyboard and mouse and all that stuff too just just to get everything you know all at the same time but I'll, I'll keep my old PC and use all this stuff as a backup and or you know it's just a good idea to keep some of the stuff around it's not obsolete by any means it's just the new stuff will just be better hi there sir nap time Oh, he outranges me. Oh, wait. I don't know if anything's different. I'll just salvage, whatever. Yeah, I got him with the stun lock. But yeah, chat, I'm a, I've assembled a team. My, uh... Yeah, a lot, a lot of things will be happening soon. More big news coming soon. Oh, wow, there's so many jellyfish down here. They're super jelly. Bold stream title, is it living up to it? Oh, hell yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is by far an outstanding human accomplishment of entertainment. Oh, yeah. Unfortunately, we're going to have to go back to the village. Or, actually, there's that, um... I guess we'll go back to the rescue sub or whatever. But we're not full loot goblin yet. we got a little bit more we can get before we go down there. Yeah, this game has so many references to things that when I was younger, it's just like... You know that meme of uh, Leonardo DiCaprio pointing at the TV? Holding the beer. That's me. Anytime anything happens in this game, it's like... Dude, Tamagotchi. Dude, Metal Gear. Like, it's all my 90s and early 2000s uh, upbringing. So everything in this game... And then, you know, of course, the obligatory... Uh, <laughs> reference to... Um, we had the obligatory reference to... Um... Skyrim just a little bit ago, so that was great. Yeah, Dave the Diver, AK. Yeah, it's amazing that the developer who is from South Korea is really... Like, it doesn't matter where they're from, it's more like they're just... They were a gamer of the time. Like, I can tell that the team who worked on this game was certainly... Like, everybody went through the whole... same games that I did, like PS1, PS2 stuff. Yeah, they were like 90s kids, yeah. But they also played the same games, too. I, I suppose you could be a 90s kid and play something completely different. I will grab you, sir. Now, can, is he, if he's sleeping, can I nab him? No. Don't you run away. 
Ah, that's good enough. Let's head back. We're like almost 10 kg over. <coughs> Alright, Dino 1 Actuals RTB. Have I thought about getting a Nintendo Switch? Well, I don't know. I don't know if I want to showcase too often a company that uh, takes, what, 80% of somebody's li uh, earnings for the rest of their life? Yeah, I don't know. They get really weird on their copyright and stuff, and I don't like that. Play our games, but don't talk about them or share them with others. No get-togethers. Nobody get together for Smash. Everybody enjoy your consume product, but don't talk about or be near others consuming product. Oh, they get real weird, so... <laughs> I, I'd like to enjoy it, but am I going to go to jail? Damn it, Dre and Co. Where the hell am I? Get him out of here. Security. Uh, Nintendo's just weird. I mean, honestly, all these companies have weird copyright stuff. Like I told you guys uh, a while ago when YouTube had their Summer Games Fest. Summer Games Fest was an event hosted by Jeff Keighley, which was basically like E3, think of it that way, where they showed a bunch of game trailers. YouTube had the audacity to host this event in a theater called the YouTube Theater and pay for a lot of the things and invite them to a building in which they own and operate called the YouTube Theater. And then they let Jeff Keighley showcase games from this theater. And then about a week and a half, two weeks later, they basically age-restricted everybody who streamed that event because one of the videos that Jeff Keighley showed had a little, 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 little blood and gore in it. God, oh my God. A, a shooter game where you shoot zombies and stuff had blood and gore? 18 plus on everybody. You hosted the event. How come it wasn't... You knew what they were going to host. How come you didn't age restrict it beforehand? Why didn't you give anyone a warning? Well, we can't, can't do that. That would be... That would show some sort of effort and preparation and, you know forethought. Can't do that. Yep. So in conclusion, <clears throat> are roe fish eggs? Yes, roe is fish eggs. That's right. That's what those little on the menu there, those little white dots. And so that's how we're going to raise these fish. I feel like I should start sending the lower level... Alright, maybe we shouldn't worry so much about money anymore and just send it to the kitchen so we can then use them to enhance the dish. Unless, how much do these make us? 60? Nah, I'll send it to the kitchen. We're going to use these to enhance. Back to the lab. Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna start doing that rather than selling them. Although, uh, the money. Barracuda. You're playing Farming Sim right now? Jim, that's a good game, man. Oops. Oops. 
Uh-oh. Uh-oh. They had to deliver all button and I accidentally hit it. Uh-oh. That's bad. Very bad. Actually, that's not too bad, because that's literally the sea people area. Whatever. Yeah, we'll let these guys grow for a little while. Alright, we'll need more stuff at 250. Wait, what can we do here? Construction sim? Oh, I love it. Uh, open area. Glacial area. I thought we already opened that. Oh, there's different for glacial passage and something else? Oh, below 540. Well, we're about to go there, so we may as well buy that. Yep. Yep. So that way when we get that low, then we can immediately start bringing those fish back here same day. Back to the farm. Oh, we gotta wait another day? Battle bit? We might play battle bit. Depends on what we put on our schedule, I guess. We're gonna have to deliver some fertilizer to those farm fields. We might do that tomorrow morning. Do some farming. Back to the farm. All right. Hmm, all right. All right, let's go back. Well, we got two days for the tuna event, so that could be plenty of time to... Actually, I think tuna can grow in the shallow waters. Uh-oh, what's going on here? VIP, Wang Pang, the Master Chef. Hello, everyone. This is Yui from NDC Station. Today I present a new program called Challenge the Chef, featuring Vincent Yamaoka. It's been a long time everyone, I'm Vincent Yama Yamaoka. The champion of the last season was Boncho, who was praised by Vincent. He'll be the defending champion today. D defending champion? And this season's first challenger is Wang Pang. It's my honor to be here. I'm Wang Pang from Hong Kong. Nice to meet you, Wang Pang. All right, we've met the contestants. Wait, what? Out of nowhere, we just have a cook it? What, what's going on? You two will compete with dishes on the same day at the same place on the given theme. A Vincent will judge your dishes. Today's theme for the contest is Chinese cuisine. Oh, well, this isn't good. As you know, Chinese cuisine developed many cooking styles from long history. When we talk about Chinese cuisine, many folks think of stir-fried meat and vegetables, but that's not all. There is more than that. This time, you two will compete for the dish using fish. Give me a Chinese-style fish dish. May the best chef win. I heard of you and your reputation, Bancho. I will beat you with a fabulous recipe from Hong Kong. Oh. Wang Pang has issued an official challenge. This should be interesting. You know the rules, folks. 
We will come back in two days to broadcast the intense competition between the two contestants in real time. Stay tuned and see what transpires today in Challenge the Chef. Art. Yeah, okay. Goodbye, mm -hmm. sir. Are you okay? You're not familiar with Chinese cuisine, are you? I don't need to be Chinese to compete with him. I will use a Chinese culinary style. But with a type of fish they've never tasted before. Let's not go overboard, Bancho. I can't teach him a lesson with an ordinary dish, if you say so. Bring me the ingredients I want in two days. Chinese cuisine is no problem. I'll just need stargazers. We know where to find those. Wheat, we've grown a bit of that. Olive oil, we got that. And eggs, we're starting to get those. Good thing we bought that chicken. All right. Ingredients have arrived. Oh boy, it's gonna be a long night. All right, first of all, I want to hire myself, please. Exterminate them, yes. Let's do a little training. Damn, she's got cooking plus plus? What the hell? Cooking ability increases permanently by a great margin. Holy hell. Man, this girl knows what's up. Have we hired Raptor? I'm looking for me. I keep putting out ads. I just keep getting Co and Jason Voorhees applied to my restaurant. Right, we need to give you a little training too. Or maybe I'll save the money for me. I'm kind of spendy too. Bougie and all that. All right, actually, this means that we got a VIP and the tuna coming at the same day. So this is going to be a problem a little bit. Okay, hold on. Let's do our mini game. We need a dish of 250. All right, so let's get started with that menu. Here we go again. Jason Voorhees would be good with a knife. Oh, that's true. <laughs> oh, here he is. Jason Voorhees, hello. Are you here for the interview, sir? Are those teenagers near you? Oh yeah. I guess they were. Game of the year. Oh, damn. Ooh, the long nose saw shark gets us to 203. All right, we got to go for the uh, long nose saw sharks in the future. Because we got to get something to 250. That's going to be it. That's, that's our closest one right there. Bluefin tuna, we're going to save that for now.
Man, we're getting a lot of meals way up there. Are you sure you're an employee in this game? Maybe you're just a VIP that wants to be a special ramen ditch. Oh yeah, maybe, yeah, that could be. Do you like myself some ramen? Maybe I'm a final boss. All right, let's go with three of those. Go with the wolf eel. Give us 23 things on the menu. I know. All right, so that brings us up to um, no, 18. We're going for big money McGillicuddy tonight. little bit more, not the tuna though. Can we enhance this? Yeah, let's do it. I think that's perfect. That's a really good menu there. Okay. Let's see, research. We could unlock some new stuff now. Bluefin tuna rice bowl. Hawaiian poke. More tuna. Yellowfin. This one's got the most flavor. Let's do that. That's the only one we can research for now. Neptuna. Yeah. How's the PC building going? Oh, good. I'll have some status updates on next month soon. On everything I've been working on. Okay. So Chinese cuisine contest. We got wheat growing, I'm pretty sure, right? And an egg. I think we're ready to open this bad boy for now. A wet cooling system? Yeah, it's going to be um, embedded in nitrogen and then buried under the earth. Yeah. All right, we ready? Let's open this. Let's get some money. Out of food. 
Wow, we could have served even more. We cut it close though, that's good. Woo! Alright, could have been a little better, but we'll make a ton of money. We ran out of food. Nice, not bad. Almost as much as we made the other day. I could have put a few more things on the menu. Whew. That money gains, though. Yeah, I mean, that's still a lot of money. That's a lot of money. Wow. I got to remember with those full nights, we, we could probably start doing like 25 plus. Dr. Bacon's back. Uh, it's not easy crafting a suit in one day, but I am me, so I did it. Oh, that looks nice. Now, why don't you go ahead and try it on? Oh, we get an upgraded suit. Ooh, that suits you well. Mmm. The size is perfect. Thank you, Dr. Bacon. It feels warm. Maybe because it's made from divine fruit, a uh, tree fruit cloth. Hmm. With that suit, you can not only roam underwater, but cold places freely. Good. Time to go down to the glacial area. Thank you, Dr. Bacon. Cool. Now we can go further into the game. You had a cold-resistant suit that protects you from cold environment. Upgrade it by uh, using the eye diver to dive deeper. Oh, boy. Vincent was added as a contact. Oof. Level 2 will let us go to 800. Ah, if only I had a little bit more money, we can get another salvage drone. Actually, what does he have for uh, stuff? Ink bomb? Ah, oh, there it is. The steel net sensor trap. That's what we need. Capture two fish at the same time. Acquired items can be stored inside and will automatically be retrieved upon leaving the water. Hmm. Alright. Don't really want to sell anything. Yeah, we might need a lot of these things for a quest or something. Defeat invasive starfish. Oh, so many things have opened up now because of the new area. Rice are growing. Two wheat are now harvestable. Oh wait, we have that new field. We should go check that out first. Let's check out the farm. What do you think? Neat, right? Ooh, we got two eggs. Excellent.
and take some more uh, wheat. We'll do three of that. Okay. Now we'll have a carrot seed left over. Alright, I think we're fine. Can we ra access Raptor's Instagram through that phone? Yeah, exclamation point Instagram. Faux show. All right, cool. Well, we got everything we need for the Chinese cuisine contest now. Still got to go to the Sea People area and get that cookie cutter shark. And we need to explore the glacial area. And we probably should get some money. But we can sell stuff tomorrow. Or at the end of the day, really. Some of the stuff I really don't want to sell, though. What's our top thing? 203, okay. So we need more of those sawfish. Hmm. I think we want to dive, not go to the Sea People Village just yet. One, we need tuna for our event tomorrow night. And also there's some sawfish that are kind of more towards the uh, bottom of the shallow area, so that would be good. Oh, and then we, we have our trap too, so that's going to be the only way that we can use that, I think. Oh, did I forget to water? We gotta go water. Water those. Oh yeah. Well to be fair, those other guys look so busy. All right, cool. There we go. Well, that was a good call. All right. And now we've unlocked a whole new area. I wonder what we should buy from Eye Diver. A better harpoon would be nice, but uh, I don't know. We should buy something before we go. Maybe a better cold resistant suit. You know what's interesting too? The salvage drone. Yeah, I think that's directly tied to the mines because we bought level 2 salvage drone. I think if we had a level 3, when we bought those bombs, I think we'd get three of them. Cargo box upgrade would be nice too. Save the money. Mm. Yeah, I think so too. Because when we go down to the, when we go down to the next area in the glacial area, we might find a bunch of stuff that we are gonna just be, like, have too much uh, weight and stuff. Like we're just gonna be over our capacity, and if we upgrade that, that's five thousand, and we don't really have a lot of money for that right now. So yeah. Hmm. Hmm. 
Well, here's what I think. I think we should definitely save. And return to the title menu. And that is all for our Dave the Diver stream for today. We're obviously uh, close to the end of this game, but there's still much, much more to do. So we're going to be playing this one tomorrow, Saturday morning, and on Sunday morning, too. So I'll be back same time, same place for more Dave the Diver. Coming up next on the channel, we'll do a little bit more of Aliens. Uh, the Alien stream for Dark Descent. And then we'll play something else tonight. This weekend, we're going to be playing City Skylines multiplayer. Yeah, City Skylines has a multiplayer mod that works nice. So we're going to be playing that tomorrow midday with Bradford on Saturday and Sunday. Tomorrow night, we're going to do some Aliens Fire Team Elite with Bradford and Jerry, because I don't get to play with them enough. And maybe we'll do something tonight with the Goof Troop. I do want to take a look at that new Planet Crafter uh, update for... Um, uh, the, the, they have now like amphibians or something like frogs or whatnot. But anyway, speaking of city skylines, I'm going to drop a video right now and you all can go watch that for all the new changes uh, and things that we've learned in city skylines too just yesterday morning. So if you didn't get a chance to uh, watch it, come watch my new video. All right. I'll see you all in the live stream going live right now. A pre-recorded video and a YouTube premiere. Let's go. Get ready for the premiere. Let's do it.